Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5 developers are known for getting into the details. In Battlefield 1, devs created an insanely detailed version of Zebrugge, and even made sure the number of bullets ejected out of the top of the Repetia Pistola M1912 was exact to the number left in the magazine. With Battlefield 5, DICE are even taking things a step further. Here are 10 insane details you probably didn't know about Battlefield 5. First up, DICE have spent a significant amount of time raising the skill ceiling in Battlefield 5 and creating opportunities for those only in Battlefield moments. To this end, not only are you able to toss back enemy grenades, but you can actually shoot grenades in midair to detonate them. Some top tier players like Stode are already mastering the technique, using it to hit enemies seeking shelter from a storm of bullets. Shooting the grenade doesn't allow the target time to escape before the explosive's fuse timer counts down, and it's also incredibly satisfying. Next, if you're having a particularly successful string of sniper kills, shown here by Battlefield 5's core gameplay designer Drunksy, you might be surprised to hear your character count your kills along with you. It's a neat little detail that deepens the connection that you have with your character that much more. It gives them their own sense of personality and, in a way, cheers you on, encouraging you to make every shot count. Third are grenade tosses. You can throw a few different types of grenades in Battlefield 5, but did you know that the angle from which they're thrown actually impacts the animation for tossing the explosive? If you throw a grenade in a normal or high arc, your character chucks the grenade overhand. If you're throwing the grenade below you, your character actually tosses it underhand. It's a small detail, but it helps break up the monotony of a common action in-game and makes it seem just a bit more immersive. Like Battlefield 1, there are a ton of weapon details in Battlefield 5, and one of the coolest is the barrel change animation for the MG42, which I'll rank fourth on this list. If you fire the MG42 until it overheats, you'll actually see your character coax the gun's quick change barrel out of the shroud using a spent cartridge. Now, devs initially toyed around with the idea of the support class wearing gloves, but decided the spent brass was both cool and ingenious. It's also worth mentioning that Ian McCollum at Forgotten Weapons pulls the same maneuver on his video on the MG42. Hardly surprising, since many at DICE are big fans of Gun Jesus, and he reportedly assisted them in the development of Battlefield 1. I don't know if I call it a Forgotten Weapons Easter egg, but it's probably as close as we're going to get. Similarly, number five on this list has to do with the reload animation for the single-shot FP-45 Liberator pistol. During the pistol's correct and lengthy reload, the player's character model actually slides a bullet from the compartment hidden in the gun's grip. Now, this is true to life, though it doesn't really cut down the weapon's pedestrian reload time, which didn't do it any favors for resistance fighters who actually found themselves equipped with the pistol. Sixth is the Narvik Whale. She's been around since the game's alpha, but many players have yet to notice her enjoying the peaceful waters below the massive air and land battle nearby. DICE even jokingly featured the whale in patch notes for the game's beta, stating they fed her to keep her, quote, happy and strong. Humor aside, the whale is a reminder to take in all of the detail developers put into the game's gorgeous environments, and there's a lot, ranging from buildable snowmen to the northern lights on Narvik alone. Next is the Tiger Tank Commander from Battlefield 5's Prologue. We don't ever really get a good look at his face during the prologue, but subtitles reveal he is the same tank commander featured in the upcoming war story, The Last Tiger. His name is Peter Müller, and this actually provides us with some cool context for the German war story since we get a bit of backstory on this character. We now know he's a grizzled veteran of the bitter North African campaign and has been at war for years before the events of The Last Tiger. There's also a bit of a tongue-in-cheek reference to another Battlefield game, Battlefield 3. If you recall, Thunder Run's tanker is named Jonathan Miller, whose last name is an anglicized version of Miller. I doubt there's any relationship between the two, but it seems a little too similar to be coincidental. Many Germans who moved to the United States after the destruction of World War II changed their names, and it's not a big hop from Miller to Miller, so 
Who knows? This wouldn't be the first time such a connection was suggested in the Battlefield universe. The gambler Clyde Blackburn in Battlefield 1's Friends in High Places shares a surname with Henry Blackburn, the protagonist of Battlefield 3. For number 8, DICE paid a great deal of attention to character movement in Battlefield 5, and it shows in some small details. If a character runs through water, they actually hike up their knees as if to avoid getting water inside of their boots. Characters also react when interacting with walls and stacking up around corners. It's these kinds of small details that help draw players into the experience because the actions are both natural and believable. The next detail in this list has to do with armored combat. If you're engaging another tank and land a direct hit, you can actually see the impact point on the enemy tank's hull. It glows bright orange and looks absolutely wicked. Aside from the cool factor, this actually helps you identify where shells are falling at a distance and how close you are to hitting a vulnerable part of the tank, like the tracks or engine. Again, it's a minor detail, but it really pulls you into the Battlefield 5 experience. Lastly, you're probably familiar with the gigantic bridge on the game's twisted steel map. Now, what you might not know is that you can actually fly through it. And no, I'm not talking about going north to south through the steel suspension. I'm talking about flying through it along the road above the intense bridge combat. Now, I'm a terrible pilot, but my buddy Grizzle has managed the feat, and it's bonkers. DICE specifically designed the bridge for you to be able to do this. It's just very, very difficult to do. So the next time you've got an enemy on your six and you need to lose them on Twisted Steel, you might be able to shake them by flying through the bridge, provided you've actually got the skill to do it. That's all for this video on some cool details in Battlefield 5. Which ones are your favorites? Tell me down below in the comments. And if you know of any other cool details, do put those in the comments as well. If you do like these kinds of details videos, do check out another Battlefield YouTuber, Teabag Gaming. He did a lot of these kinds of videos for Battlefield 1, and I expect he'll return to them in the future here for Battlefield 5. I'll leave a link to his channel in the video description. In the meantime, if you enjoyed my video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for the latest Battlefield 5 news and interesting videos. Make sure to say hey on social media websites like Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. You can find all those links in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching.